And with all the changes, we want to make sure that you're getting your answers to your questions. Our Action 13 team has been working very hard to get those answers for you. Our very own Chelsea Hernandez joining us now live with some of the questions that folks have submitted. Hi, Chelsea. Hey, good afternoon, Maida. That's exactly right. So many of you have questions uh, around medical questions concerning COVID-19. So I went to a medical expert to get your answers. And our first question is in regards to mosquitoes. As we know here in Houston, mosquitoes are a big problem. So the question reads, should we be concerned that mosquitoes can escalate the spread of COVID-19? Medical expert Dr. Burt Goldner explains. So while there's a potential for mosquitoes or even ticks to spread COVID-19, right now the CDC is not saying that there's any kind of significant data saying that there is spread uh, or at least significant spread from mosquitoes. What we do know for sure is that COVID-19 is spread from person to person contact. So our next question, I have liver disease. I am at high risk of getting it. What can I do to minimize my risk? So if you have liver disease or really any chronic illness, you want to do everything you can to protect yourself against COVID-19 right now. So one thing you want to do is make sure that you're not going out for anything uh, that's not necessary. So even groceries, make sure you're getting delivery of groceries. If you can't afford one of those apps, maybe someone from your church or someone from your family can bring those to you. If you absolutely must go out, make sure you're using proper protection without masks. Wear some goggles or glasses for eye protection. Make sure you're washing your hands thoroughly and you're maintaining distance from people at least six feet or more away from people. And don't be afraid to ask people to back up. I know I've had to do that even going for my walks outside. Sometimes people are a bit too close and I have to ask them, hey, do you mind moving across the street uh, so, that, so that we can maintain distance? All right, guys, and coming up at 4.50, Dr. Goldner is answering more Action 13 questions, including why she recommends everyone wear goggles, even if you're not considered high risk, as Houston continues to see a spike in cases. We'll send it back to you in studio. Okay, great perspective, Chelsea. Thank you.